they have to understand that there's certain ethics involved with like what you tell someone and the way in which you represent good and bad things. They have a big responsibility because nowadays kids are being real obese and kids all like I have a goddaughter she always on the can you get this get this for me get this for me they always like constantly advertising stuff to them usually not really positive things that they need in their life for the most part majority of the time all advertisers don't have the same perspective on it some of them are more okay with trying to market things that are neg that negatively affect kids lives You know the razor commercials, and then they used to have like girls walking by bushes. <laughs> I mean, it was funny, but like when my goddaughter and like little my little siblings seen it, they're like, "What did that mean?" I'm like, "You know what? Don't even worry about it. I just don't need to know." Some stuff they just shouldn't like. I mean, it was funny, but come on out, seriously. That was just they just drug it out. I heard about an ad that got canceled. I want to say it was for Ford or some truck company, where the pictures were just uh, like women like gagged and tied up in the back seat or whatever. Mm -hmm. And uh, the premise was like, it's like hide your problems or get rid of your problems or something like that. Okay, the Calvin Klein ad is the dude where he's half naked in You were looking at the guy? Underwear. How do you not see it? He was half naked in his underwear and the camera was twirling around him and stuff like that. And he had a big, I don't know if this, this is going to be bleep bulge. <laughs> yeah, it was out of control. And me being a guy, it just made me mad to watch it. It was like something from Toys R Us. That was like our big go-to for toys and stuff. So I'd say maybe if the kids are having fun on the TV, yeah. we want to have fun and be the same way. So Barbie dolls, brat dolls, Nerf, the like the uh, childhood toy. It was always cool to have like the coolest, newest Nerf gun. I did get moon shoes. They live up for to Christmas. The they did live up to that. Yes, they did wow. live up to that. I think I bought a Razor scooter because of advertising when I was in middle school. I remember that. When I started delivering newspapers as a little kid, like every time I'd get a paycheck, I was like going through the, like just watching TV, and if I saw something cool, I wanted to have it. And rock them top. Did they make you jump higher? You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. those, those were, yeah, those were cool. Advertising it needs to be more like user friendly, I should say, and more positive things in their life, not just always like the food and the candy, like uh, fatty foods. That's why a lot of kids, I said in the beginning, are obese, and that's why a lot of kids always want like the toys. They need to promote like going outside or doing something different with their life instead of just watching TV and eating food all the time. I don't like the amount of sexual content that they try to promote through the commercials. I feel like if they didn't promote as much sexual advertisement, more parents will allow their teenagers to buy their products. The graffiti artist Banksy like says the best line that I've ever heard about advertising is every day like you're bombarded with advertisement whether you want it or not. 